Welcome to this video on division. I'm going to be working with 192 and I'm going to divide that by 12. I'm going to use several different methods to work out this division. So I'm going to start with long division. This is sometimes called the bus stop method because this line here reminds people of a bus stop. So I start. I look at how many 12s go into 19 to start with. Well, there's one 12 in 19. So then I do 1 multiplied by 12 is 12. So I write 12 down underneath and I take away. So I do 19 take away 12. Well, 9 take away 2 is 7. 1 take away 1 is 0. So there's nothing there. I then bring this 2 down, doing that 72. And then I start again. So I'd say how many 12s are in 72? Well, there's 6 12s in 72. 6 multiplied by 12 is 72. So I take these away. I'm left with 0. Once I've got to 0, I know that this division is, is ended and there's no remainder. So 192 divided by 12 is 16. That's long division. If I did this same method using short division, it's very, very similar. So I'm still drawing my bus stop. But this time when I say how many 12s are in 19, there's 1, but I've got 7 left over because the difference between 12 and 19 is 7. But I write this 7 here, I carry it over to the next number. And then I say how many 12s are in 72, there's 6, there's no left over, so that's my final answer. So 192 divided by 12 is 16. Using another method, uh, I'm going to use one that's called chunking. Uh, chunking involves taking away large amounts that you already know how many 12s are in. So, if I show an example, if I'm starting with 192. I know that 10 lots of 12 is 120. So, I could take away a big chunk of 10 12s, so that's 120, and take that away. So 2 take away 0 is 2, 9 take away 2 is 7, 1 take away 1 is 0, so I'm not going to write that. So I've already made it an easy division. If I know 10 lots of 12 is 120, I might halve that, so 5 lots of 12. It's just going to be half of it, so that's 60. So I could take a big chunk of 5 lots of 12 away, so that's 60. Take that away, so that leaves 12. And 12 is just 1 lot of 12, so take that 1 lot of 12 away. Left with 0, I know the answer's finished, and then I just see how many lots of 12 I took away. So these are how many 12s I took away. That's 10, 5 and 1. 10 plus 5 plus 1 is 16. So from 92 I've taken 16 lots of 12 away. So 16 is my answer. You could also use this same method in reverse. So instead of taking amounts away you could add amounts on. So I could say, right, I know there's 10 lots of 12 in 120. Then 5 lots of 12 is 60, so I could put another 5 on and add them. So that's 180. I need to get to 192. I'm 12 away, so that's one lot of 12 I need to add on. That takes me to 192. 
Now that I've reached the answer that I want to, I can see how many lots of 12 I added together to make that. That's 10 plus 5 plus 1. So that's 16 again.